Malindi, Kenya's second largest coastal town, has a reputation of serious leisure and pleasure. And when we landed, we decided to look for destinations within this destination. We found an unbelievable range of activities to indulge in. Just chilling on the beach was one option. And here we found Shechale, an eco-beach hotel sheltered by a fringing coral reef and secluded in thousands of coconut trees. Shechale was started about uh, 32 years ago. And uh, it was started by my mother and my father. Um, he loved natural things. So again, he started building with makuti and makeka and using natural things as possible. Um, and picking up logs from the beach and using them and incorporating them in the way the place is built. Mm -hmm. Then I took the place over 11 years ago. Um, and since then, slowly, slowly, I introduced kite surfing into the country and everything. And now the whole place lives of people who come here to kite surf. Um, and the reason why they come here to kite surf is because the Kenyan coast is a very, very good coast for wind. Uh, we have about nine to ten months of the year where we've got always wind here. Kite surfing is the big thing at the coast right now. And the beach here is a mix of learners and expert riders. Wide open water, a clear beach, just the right amount of wind and a dedicated tutor. First lesson we start to fly small, small kites. And then, uh, step by step, we just increase the size of the kite till uh, the size which is uh, enough for your body weight and uh, just for to be able to feel enough power in the water. And, but at the beginning, it's uh, like a kid's game. Another day, another destination. Now, the Indian Ocean has got the third largest coral reef in the world, and the underwater life is amazing. We're on our way to the marine park just off the coast of Malindi, and I'm told that the underwater life there is fantastic. Different colors, types, and sizes. After spending time snorkeling and experiencing the marine life, there was a delicious barbecue waiting for us. Now this here is a sandbar. When the tide is high, it's usually filled with water. But when the tide is low, usually early morning hours, the water is cleared away and the white, beautiful sand stands out. Now the hotels along the beach bring their guests here to sample the fresh breezes and they usually have a very nice fish picnic breakfast. Malindi by night is a sight to behold. Now, Melinda is famous for several interesting things. It's actually called the Las Vegas of Kenya. And being right next to the sea, the seafood is amazing. Back there is the sushi bar. Let's find out just how good the sushi is. The exotic sushi bar at Kisina Melindi is a floating restaurant. We crossed the Japanese bridge and a pond of lilies to step into a world of oriental hospitality. Now the big day is finally here. The Malindi Casino Fashion Gallery event is just about to begin. The crowds are pulling in, the ambience is fantastic. Now this is not another ordinary fashion event. It is to celebrate the International Women's Day. And apart from that, the biggest investors in Malindi have come to network right here. Casino Malindi's third annual fashion gallery event is always a showstopper. the beautiful open skies. The glamorous event attracted an eager audience and Kenyan and international designers showcased collections that had a strong ethnic mix. I've done a mix of, of colors and I'm using some Chinese writings, some um, tattoos on them, uh, all done by embroidery or by hand. And then also I'm doing a very fitted, classy menswear as compared to the structured uh, menswear we know. 
So I've done a lot of jackets that are fitted, slim pants. And for the ladies, I'm just doing some loose pants with a corset. So it's basically adapting the corset uh, in very uh, different ways. Our look is smart casual for a sort of slightly older woman who still wants to look fashionable but um, is not too conservative. She still wants to stand out, she still wants to look special. Uh, we have a number of events at Casino Malindi, but the fashion show is definitely one of the big ones. Uh, what it's about, beside the celebration of people and their fashion, is really a great opportunity to showcase some of the materials and available in Kenya and all of the immense talent. Um, you can see from some of the props that were on the stage that are made from Kenyan mahogany and Kenyan hides. And it's a great way to, to show what we have to offer here. And what better setting than the Indian Ocean and La Grilla restaurant behind Casino Malindi? Now, this fashion show was to celebrate women in fashion, or fashionistas as they like to call them. The theme, practical and contemporary, something any woman or man of style can wear anytime, any day.